South Africa's uh, Poultry Association wants the International Trade Administration Commission uh, to place added import duties on uh, imported chicken products. If granted, uh, you and I could expect to see a rise of up to 32% in the price of chicken cuts. But its surplus application for an increase, is it valid? Well, in the studio, I have uh, Dr. Zianda Machokweni Kualela from the South African Poultry Association and Francois Bird. He is founder of Fair Play Movement. Both of you, thank you and welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Let's begin with you, the defendant. We're in court now. Hey, <laughs> I put it to you. <laughs> I remember that man. I put it to you that uh, you are seeking um, protection where protection is uh, not uh, justified because you already received 35.5% protection uh, in November last year. Why more? It's essential that the industry, the local industry, gets as much protection as, as is required because I always put it this way. There's three facets to the industry. There's imports exports, which we should always have. There's a local industry, which ne we need to ensure that it keeps the capacity for us to be able as a country to produce. And there's another aspect that talks to redressing uh, past issues that the country had, and that is the growth and bringing in new entrants into the market. Now, all three facets need to, need to know and understand that each one plays a role, and all three facets need to create a space for each of those aspects to thrive. Right. So all the industry is saying, let us protect our ability as a country to produce locally yeah. so that we can have the food security we require yeah. and also ensure that new entrants can come onto the market. Yeah. So let me understand you correctly. Are you saying the initial protection that you got last year wasn't enough? Definitely it was not enough. Definitely it was not enough. And over and above that, we, we are looking at predatory practices that are occurring over different nations. We, we, we did get the 35%, thank you very much. However, we need to ensure that we use various <coughs> means mm. for us to be able to, 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 um, to protect, in, in, in essence, the yeah. local industry. Yeah. We do need to use as many instruments as we can. Yeah. So what will be enough yeah. is, is when we have an industry yeah. where we are able to ensure that the industry and the market grows yeah. and, and be able to keep all three of those facets yeah. performing sustainably. Professor, is that a fair argument? Well, it's, uh, it's an important argument because at Fair Play we fight predatory trade. What does that mean? for the benefit of some of us who may not understand what predatory trade right. is. I like to call it crocodile trade because what oh. happens is... Or Brazilians python trade. You know, crocodile trade. <laughs> crocodile <laughs> trade yeah. means, for instance, the Brazilians make their money by exporting chicken breasts, white meat, the bits I don't like, to oh. North America and Europe. And they make a lot of money doing that. Right. And then they left with a mountain of the brown meat, the bits I like. Aha. And so what do they do? They sell it at any price. They dump it. Now that's against the rules of world trade. So we say fair play means you all have to abide by the rules. Yeah. And there's a surge. 30% of the market in South Africa is Brazilian chicken now. Why? Because this market, they yeah. This market, yeah. Beca why? Because they manipulate the price. I've heard stories about prices of chicken being declared uh, as seven rand a kilo, so they po pay a lower, a lower tariff on it. Right. And then they make up the benefit in transport costs, so to speak. But the, the, the Brazilians first claimed that, you know, they're providing cheap poultry for the poor. Yeah. That now, they they claim, now they claim South African chicken is competitive and it's, uh, their chicken is actually more expensive. Yeah. Now, it's not because it's one of these is true, it's because neither of those are true. What is in the true, sense though? What the is true? So because truth I wanted to give you some numbers, but quickly yeah. round up your argument so, so I can give truth, you some numbers. So the yeah. truth is simply, South Africa is competitive, but the risk is 800,000 small-scale farmers and thousands of people losing their jobs because of a surge of chicken, 
where the profits are outrageous and the benefit doesn't come to consumers and they undercut the local producers so that the local pr uh, production can't grow. Yeah. And what needs to be done is for this tariff, the safeguard tariff, yeah. to become a proper tariff that sorts out the problem. And the Brazilians yeah. are renowned for food scandals, for all kinds of shenanigans. So we cannot stand back and allow that to happen yeah. uh, in this market. Yeah, clearly there's no love lost here because I'm hearing words that are a bit strong. <laughs> um, I wanted to give you the numbers that we got from uh, the importers. Mm. And uh, I'm sure you are familiar with those numbers. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm unable to display them on screen, so I, I have to quickly read uh, through them. So they say, for instance, uh, that... Um, uh, where are we, where are we, where are we? Yes, here we go. So they give the statistics and they, say, they, they, they then say, given the above statistics, local chicken is delivered for 24 rand 37, a full 21 cents cheaper than the imported product at 24.58. Have you looked at those numbers? Are those numbers accurate? It's complete bunkum. What they're oh. engaging in is, is intellectual cross-dressing. Take, Ooh. for instance, You're the claim that uh, of a 32% price rise. That's complete nonsense because tariffs don't affect local chicken at all, right? It only affects their chicken. So if they want to improve or, or increase the price yeah. of Brazilian chicken, it's up to them. Yeah. But the reason they can manipulate the price is because they make so much profit. Sure. It's because they've already made their profit selling to North America and Europe. Mm. And this is money for jam. Mm. So they can do whatever they like. And what happened in Ghana? Yeah. Chicken was allowed in. They flooded the market. The yeah. same surge as we're having here now. Yeah. Mm. And I'm not saying it's only the Brazilians. Mm. Others are doing it as well. Right. And then the local industry is destroyed. And then they can do what they like with so prices. And that's predatory trading. Is it agreed that this is dumping? Officially, under WTO. Rules. Firstly, in 2012, Brazil has been found guilty of dumping. Secondly, ITAC has already found them guilty of predatory trade. Mm. So we no longer have to argue about that. It's yeah. already been done. This tariff is being reviewed because of predatory trade. Mm. Can I come to you and ask why do we need to be protected against these guys? All right, they are dumping. But why can't we make the same profits that they're able to make and produce at the same prices that they're able to do so. Why are we not are exporting to the Americans as well, the same stuff that they're exporting? There are 13 countries, yeah. 13 countries on the list with licenses to export to uh, the EU, for instance. South yeah. Africa is not one of them. Mm. And one of the challenges that South Africa gets is that it does not meet some of the sanitary requirements of, of the EU. So, and through those, and those are non-tariff barriers, right. through those, it is then unable to, to export to the EU. Okay. Um, and then that and chicken it's find similar, itself. yes, mm -hmm. and it's similar then with other countries as, as well. So you do find that those are some of the challenges that, that, yeah. we, that we currently have as a country. And it's not to say that our chicken is not safe. Yeah. However, it's, it's a standard that is, that is put and that becomes then a barrier. Yeah. I wanted to raise with you the issue of uh, Donald Trump, mm -hmm. right? So Donald Trump is slapping those import duties on Chinese products. But right. guess who's paying? I think studies from the International Managed Fund has established beyond doubt that the consumer is the one who's bearing the cost of that. Mm -hmm. Are you not imposing the same thing on us now? Definitely not. And, uh, and I think Francois um, spoke to that in, in, a, in a sense. As we said, local production mm -hmm. will not be subject to the tariff and local production is already at a competitive level. Mm. So that will definitely, most definitely, not come through to the consumer. And as Francois said, they are already making a killing in terms of, of the value of the product that they bring in. Because remember, yeah. where it comes from is not a premium product. Sure. And, 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 and as a result, it comes in cheap. Yeah. And the, the benefit then is not necessarily transferred onto the consumer. The point I'm making is that uh, if uh, I am an importer, unfortunately mm -hmm. I would have hoped we would have the importers here today, but we don't have them. Mm -hmm. If I'm an importer mm -hmm. and South Africa imposes these extra duties that you're asking for, mm -hmm. uh, I will simply hike the price of uh, my import by the same percentage point and the consumer, it's up to the consumer whether to pay or not. And it, 
has been seen in the U.S. case, the consumer is paying. Do you know what happens? Yeah. What happens is that they only make less profit. Right. They don't hike their price because mm. their profit margins are so they enormous. They do not. No, they their profit margins are so enormous, yes, they can afford. There do was they a reduce by the percentage that they had, the, 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 so the tariff would have gone up by? Exactly. So, so let me give you the example. Did you see a 37% a uh, uh, rise in prices due to the tariff being implemented last year? I don't know. The answer is no. You did not see that. So they're simply absorbing it. They're absorbing it because they have these enormous profit margins. It seems a clear-cut case, isn't it? Absolutely From what you guys are saying. So why are, why, why are we talking about it still? Why hasn't this been resolved? The government simply applying and getting the permission and hiking those duties. Well, there's a process. Yeah. And I think that's why the importers are making uh, all kinds of uh, unhappy jumps yeah. and claims. Because ITAC is going to determine yeah. what yeah. the tariff should be. And then it will be implemented. And hopefully it's high enough to eat into their profits yeah. and make a level playing field. Because that's all we want. So you wanted to add something? Um, at the end of the day, I think what's probably caused that is that we did not have a helicopter view of the industry. That is to say, look at the role of each one of those three players that I spoke to. Yeah. Now that we, the industry is working together with government on a master plan, we'll then be able to fit in those roles and how we can actually keep the industry sustainable. So it's, it's, it's not that easy when you're not looking at a bigger picture and you're just looking at your slice of the cake yeah. and just making it bigger. Right. So it just needs us to have that consciousness and be led yeah. by, by that master plan process. Absolutely, because in my mind I'm thinking, I want to be able to buy my chicken at Bigger Bay no more. You're making it complicated. If there's Must time, work quickly. just remember what's at stake. There are 800,000 small-scale farmers yeah. in South Africa. Yeah. A survey in April showed that of 370 small-scale farmers surveyed, 47% of them are going out of farming. Sure, because of uh, these uh, because of imports. Because of predatory trade. And that's the problem. And mm. that's why we're fighting it. We're for no other reason. Thanks very much indeed yeah. to, for coming. And you wanted to add something quickly? I have <laughs> run out of time. I've just been told I need <laughs> Last to. Last words. If those farmers go out of trade, yeah. it's actually investment that government has made in order for us to have new entrants into the market. Right. So it's, it's not only their money, it's taxpayers' money that, that is going to waste and, and an investment that the country is losing in terms of, of, of ensuring that those farmers are able to, to Absolutely. farm. Absolutely. Thanks very much. And Dr. Zianda Majokweni Kualela from uh, the South African Poultry Association and Francois Bird. Is that right? That's correct. Founder yeah. of uh, Fair Play. Thank you for coming in today.